<laughs> genuinely have been waiting for this video for months. I do a lot of challenges on my channel, specifically lots of different fitness challenges, and oftentimes you all will comment, you know, try out this person, try out this new type of program. There has never been more comments for a single program, a single person, than there were for Caroline Gervin. Caroline Gervin is a Northern Ireland YouTuber, content creator, and certified personal trainer. At the end of 2020, she created her very first Epic One program, which is a weight-based program that is supposed to challenge the living heck out of you. Just watching this footage alone gives me the heebie-jeebies, which might explain why I procrastinated trying it for so long. Sometimes I kind of play around and I will choose an influencer that I really like. I'll just go to their channel, I'll look at their most popular videos and then just try those out for you all just to get a gauge of maybe what their style is like if it's a good program I can recommend but with Caroline I really wanted to challenge myself so I spent the last seven days reviewing her epic one program and there's so much to dissect I'm dry scooping again everybody told me I did it wrong wish me luck holy I feel like this is peer pressure I'm a little... whatever Oh my God, how do you? Ah! What? Oh. Oh, horrible. Oh my God. You're supposed to take a swig, do the dry scoop, take another swig. There was no instructions for how to dry scoop. I didn't know. I just get nervous like holding it in my hand. Whee! Shot, 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 shot. Mm! <laughs> that was worse. Mm. Oh, I think it was maybe too big of a scoop, or I'm not throwing it back right. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Day one, so nervous right now. I feel like I should wait another second for the pre workout to kick in. I feel the pressure in the air. It's 45 minutes long. That's lengthy. That's lengthy for me. I'm usually like a 25, 30 minute kind of gal. I get in, I do my stuff, I get out. God, and it doesn't help that she's so stinking ripped. God, that's cool. So this is going to be a lower body workout. This is going to incorporate dumbbells and body weight only. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. I just grabbed 10 pound weights. We'll see how this goes. Move it. It's day one, right? It can't be that hard. Catching myself in 4K, eating my actual words. Holy freaking <laughs> shit. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I feel really, really sluggish. I feel very unmotivated. Even after the pre-workout, I apologize for kind of my lethargic energy, but I'm trying my best. When she's using weights, I'm just keeping mine on the floor for the moment until I feel a little bit more motivated. But you know, sometimes it's just that first five minutes of the workout that you need to push through and then you're all right. But just being honest with you, I'm not feeling great. And sometimes it's not the best workout, but it's day one. Like I have to get through day one. What she's doing is smart, at least from what I've seen thus far. You do the exercise with a weight and then you'll often do the same move without full extension, AKA keeping that time under tension. And then if I'm getting this pattern correctly, she has you drop the weight and then you do kind of like the body weight version of it either by itself or with a pulse. <laughs> so you basically just slay, absolutely destroy every part of that movement by doing it a multitude of times in a multitude of ways that are just sucking all the tension in or out or on. Oh, I just noticed a hole right here. <laughs> right in the crotch. Really? I can't forget to mention that she does have a five minute warm up to complete before every single workout. But regardless, I was just fumbling and bumbling my way through this. And I don't know if it was just me feeling out of my element or just trying moves I hadn't done in a while. But day one, I was off my game. Like I was feeling very unmotivated if this is how I was going to be performing for the entire program. Just a quick day two post day one workout update. I'm so stinking sore. My legs are throbbing. Like the kind where you have to waddle down the stairs like a penguin, that's me all day. I probably should stretch from being good, but I was kind of expecting day one beginner easy. Not the case whatsoever. I mean, 45 minute workout lady. 
No. Now, to be completely honest with you, I have hit a major at-home workout slump. I'm going to blame a majority of that just on the sole fact that I am tired of being in quarantine and we are going on a full year. So I think it's just an overall lack of motivation, like the thought of being in my living room, sitting on the ground, doing sit-ups, doing some bicep curls or something, it just sounds completely awful. So I needed a program that was actually going to make me feel inspired and I actually would want to be excited to do an at-home workout because trust me, I hadn't been. Day two, today's one of those days that you're just not in the mood for. I basically had to drag myself to change my clothes and get pumped up for this. I just listened to Miley, ready to go. Mm. Sometimes you just have to throw on Hannah Montana 2, Meet Miley Cyrus, to get in the mood. This is body weight, dumbbell, upper body workout. I'm a little bit petrified for this because I always feel the weakest in my upper body. And from what I've heard, <laughs> her upper body workouts don't mess around. I recently got dumbbells and I think the lightest I have is eight pounds. And that makes me nervous because I feel like I will want less. Third exercise today is going to actually be a push-up. I'm pretty sure she just said every third move is a push-up? Holy sh I truly think one of the only critiques I have other than this program is extremely hard is that oftentimes between moves, Caroline will almost mime to you different cues for the next exercise. This usually happens in that 20 second rest period and she would do something like, all right, this is what we're gonna do next. We're about to do bent over rows. Like this is how you wanna do them. There are some things I wish that she said out loud just because I'm not exactly sure what she means. If I don't understand, then I'm assuming at least one other person is in my boat, maybe. Probably not. If she just added a text overlay that explained kind of what she was trying to mime, that would be extraordinarily helpful. I also think it's very important to mention that this program, Epic One and Epic Two, are both designed for people who have experience using weights and or HIT training. She does have a beginner program, which looks absolutely excellent, but I don't think that her programs are as entry level as some others that I've seen on the platform. I can't lift my arms up. I don't even know why I was dancing like that. <laughs> I honestly went into that workout thinking I'd only get halfway through because I'm so tired, but I'm proud of myself. I did the full thing. I'm in a good mood. She's fun to watch. She's fun to do workouts with and I'm happy. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Today's actually day four, as in the fourth day of the challenge, but I didn't work out yesterday. Really no excuse other than just pure laziness. I think that's also pathetic to admit that I only did two consecutive days, but here we are, being honest. Day three is an ab and core day, so I do wanna go back and actually do that workout even though today is the fourth day, just because I really wanna be able to gauge how each of her different workouts are structured. And also this woman has at least a 12 pack, maybe even more, so I want to see what her ab days are like. <laughs> and I'm a little bit, uh, petrified. Maybe, just maybe, I'll end up doing day three and day four today all in one in order to get myself back on track. And that's on procrastination. What, is, I just woke up, can you tell? <laughs> what is this? Wow, wow. The ab workout definitely did not disappoint. She incorporated some of my absolute least favorite moves, which truly means the ones that are the hardest for me to do, AKA the ones I typically avoid. So thanks Caroline, I really appreciate that one. I heard you calling me out. Honestly, I feel like she's one of the only people I've seen that takes as many breaks as I do, which in some ways is a little bit reassuring because I get very defeated when I just feel like they look absolutely perfect and I'm flopping around like a seal. But I love a weighted ab workout and I feel like a lot of this footage doesn't show me using the weights, but there's nothing better than a good old ab burn. It makes you so stinking sore. All right, I'm doing it. I'm going straight into day four. I'm absolutely petrified looking at the title alone doing the darn thing. I think by the fourth day, you definitely start to get the hang of how a particular influencer structures their workouts. So although I didn't look like I knew what I was doing, I didn't, but I felt more comfortable up until these freaking makers. These were actually a really cool move, I'm not gonna lie. It felt very full body, very functional training-esque, and I loved the many different elements of it, but do these like 14 times in a row and I'm absolutely done for. I just love that feeling of being so challenged and ready to conquer the world. I am unwell. I just did the hit workout, which I've been kind of avoiding all day long. It's like 
3.30 because I sort of figured if all of her weighted workouts were this difficult, the HIIT workout was going to be disgustingly difficult. Sadly, did not underestimate that whatsoever. It was absolutely horrible. I'd say HIIT workouts are probably my least favorite at home workout to do or type of workout to do at home because they're the hardest to motivate myself to get done, especially when we're dealing with Caroline and she just knows how to whip your butt. <laughs> Before every workout, Caroline takes a few minutes to just sort of explain maybe some key things that you'll want to note throughout the workout, maybe certain movements we should be aware of, aka be warned of. And I do actually sort of like this because I love the idea of just kind of getting into the game mode and pushing forward. But one of the best things that she always emphasizes is the quality of your reps over the quantity. I just want to say how much I genuinely appreciate her emphasis on her time under tension or really just making sure that the way that you're doing a bicep curl is actually correct and not using your elbow for momentum or your whole body for momentum because I think sometimes especially when you're doing a fast-paced class or maybe just not being as thoughtful about the movement you sometimes think that you can just kind of flow through it but you're going to get so much more out of the slower more controlled movements and you're probably going to be more challenged with a weight that might have normally been easier for you. That's how it feels for me right now. I mean, normally my dumbbells are heavier than the ones I'm using right now, but my arms are tingling like crazy. <laughs> I'm trying my best. She uses really heavy weights. Like we're talking nearly 30 pounds in each hand, which I don't know, that sounds like a frick ton to me. But oftentimes you will see her stop in the middle of a move, even with the running clock, if it means that her form is going to be compromised because it's always better to be slow and safe even with a lightweight, because one, you could hurt yourself, but two, you wanna make sure that you're getting the biggest bang out of your buck or for your buck with every single workout. I mean, sometimes I'm like, oh, her arm workouts are the hardest. And then other times I'm like, no, 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 no. It's the leg workouts. But genuinely, I think it's the abs. I don't know, they're all freaking hard. Back to the wide curls, back to the beginning, baby. I don't know if I've ever done a workout that ends with the same exercises that you started with, but talk about a way to burn out the muscles. <laughs> I just love how good I feel after doing her exercises. I feel strong, I feel confident. I feel like, whoo, whoo, ready to take on the world, you know? And she just has this wonderful energy about her that feels very contagious and it feels very inviting, not toxic, very welcoming. Maybe it's because she's a mom, like she's got that nurturing vibe. I don't know, but I just feel good. Overall, Caroline pretty much kicked my butt in just seven days time. Not even seven days. It took like one day, one workout for me to already feel the burn. I already saw a great improvement in the programs, even from the editing perspective from day one to day seven, but you can definitely tell that she listens to feedback. You can tell that she's improved her editing and just adding more helpful information to make this experience as positive for you and as easy for you. So all you have to do is focus on the workout which itself is not easy, but you get the point. Needless to say, the music's just not, you know, my favorite, not my cup of tea, but honestly, creators like this need to put in just kind of repetitive background copyright music because otherwise they'd get no credit, no money, no monetization for all this hard work. So just mute it, put on your own good music. Sometimes I listen to a podcast. If I'm really bad, I'll put on a YouTube video and watch it at the same time. But don't judge anybody's program based on their music. It's just, it's not fair. Normally I might just end the video here, you know, do seven days, give you my review and then call it good. But I really wanna see this program through and I really wanna be able to give you my honest feedback from day one to day 50. So consider this part one, consider this the intro to Caroline Gervin and her epic program, my review of my entire experience and perhaps an invitation for you to join with me if you've always wanted to try out her program. I'm gonna be doing it. Maybe you wanna be doing it with me. <laughs> I'll keep you all updated on my Instagram if you want to follow at Taylor Woods with two L's. I'm also updating on TikTok. Am I? No, I'm not. But I guess you could still follow. And I'm really looking forward to the results because I wanna feel strong, I wanna feel motivated, and I wanna be able to do it from the comfort of my home. So cheers to finishing week one and wish me luck on the next six, seven? And subscribe down below so you don't miss the part two review. I'll see you in the next one.